Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is NECA Toys Endo Cop and Terminator Dog in four minutes or less. NECA Toys Endo Cop and Terminator Dog are seven inch scale action figures based on designs from the four issue comic book series Robocop vs. The Terminator, published in 1992 by Dark Horse Comics. The box features a foil logo embossed gatefold flap so you can have cool box art and look at the figure even if you decide not to open it. Endocop is a combination of a Terminator endoskeleton and a Robocop Robocop. Terminator Dog is what a dog would look like if a Terminator endoskeleton had a dog that was made the same way Terminator endoskeleton is, but with a dog endoskeleton. That is to say that it is a dog that looks like the skeleton of a regular dog, but made out of robot parts. Sometimes I feel like these reviews write themselves. Endocop has a fair amount of articulation. If you're familiar with NECA's previous Robocop figures, it's basically the same articulation here. Neck, shoulders, torso, ball, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles. Absent are bicep and thigh swivels, which is very limiting to posability. Terminator Dog has a hinged jaw, two joints in his neck, two joints in his back, ball, shoulders, and hips, knees, elbows, wrists, and paws. Both figures have working hydraulic cylinders, endocop in the biceps and triceps and calves, Terminator Dog at the hips for maximum robot dog tail wagging. Don't look for a lot of stuff in the box, it's just the two figures and Endocop's gun, which you will recognize as the Robocop standard issue Auto 9 sidearm. It may seem like cheating that there are so many things about this figure that are recycled from the Robocop figure, but that's the whole point, and this is exactly what he looks like in the comics, calf rockets and all. Robocop vs. the Terminator was illustrated by Walt Simonson and written by Frank Miller, the same Frank Miller that came up with the story for Robocop 2, wrote the screenplay for Robocop 3, and of course, The Dark Knight Returns, tons of Daredevil comics, 300, Sin City, and Will Eisner's The Spirit. The Dark Horse comic tells the story of a Detroit where Terminators have come back from the future to protect Robocop from a human assassin also sent from the future, sent back to kill Robocop since the technology that created him is instrumental in the creation of Skynet and the Terminators themselves. It's about self-preservation, but it's also about family. And none of that, none of that matters to me and had nothing to do with me buying this figure and naming it one of the 10 best figures of 2017. For me, it's literally just about looking at this thing and saying, that is an awesome thing, an awesome pair of things, and I want to have that pair of things on my shelf now and forever. I like robots. I like skeletons. I like cyborg cops. I like cyborg humans. I like dogs. I like cyborg dogs. I love the ridiculous mix of things, of stories, of postmodern pop culture that resulted in this. This is a thing I want to support. I want to endorse. I want to encourage the creation of things like this in perpetuity. That said, I can't help but wonder if this is a stark commentary on how unimaginative we have become, how thoroughly out of ideas we are as a society. All they did was cram together two brands that people already liked. Was that ultimately a good thing? How unwilling are we to let go of the past, to take chances on new ideas, new creative voices, representative of a larger and more diverse global audience? Is this really about massive, soulless corporations willing to sell us the same things repackaged, rebranded, reinvented time and time again because it's easy, safe, comfortable, and familiar to us because they already know we'll buy it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all of those things. And it is actually not a good thing. And I feel really bad about it. And I don't actually want to encourage that part of it. So so, if you don't want to help facilitate the continued regression of our creative expression as a global community while simultaneously empowering corporations to further stifle new and original ideas, then this figure is an easy pass. But if you just love robot skeletons and stuff just cause, you know, outside of the downfall of creativity in America, then this is a must have. So buy it if you see it, and if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. Sorry to end that on such a down note. You can still hit like, hit subscribe, share this video, and let us know in the comments which two properties you would like to see smushed together. I literally can't think of two properties that haven't already been combined. Star Wars and Batman, has that been done? No, they yet. did that versus thing. It's been done. Cut.